My name is Melissa Jackson. I'm a librarian with Indigenous Engagement at State Library of New South Wales. I'm a Bundjalung person, but I, I've been born and bred on Gadigal country, and that means I come from Sydney. At to learn Protocol 11, copying and repatriation of records. By their very nature, collecting institutions collect material and uh, collecting de um, collection development policies of years gone by uh, basically uh, didn't care about the subject of the, the people who or the, um, the information that was contained within. It was just we need to collect all of this information. So over the time, um, secret, sacred um, and just culturally important material has been collected in large institutions such as ours. Um, and it's, it's our, um, it's, it's should be one of our highest priorities to uh, copy material and repatriate it back then to community where it's appropriate and where we've had um, extensive co um, community consultation in relation to it. Um, having copied the material and having you know, said we will give it back to community, it's also incumbent upon us to um, create a keeping place, an ind Indigenous knowledge keeping place whether it's a physical space or it is an electronic in the digital realm as well. So um, it's extremely important for us to, in this age of uh, accessibility and discoverability of our collections, to ensure that this very important cultural information gets back to the people that it's about. One of the really um, positive um, examples that I could give you of, of giving, um, uh, of copying and repatriating material is that uh, there was a, uh, a dance, a ceremony that was performed in the 1970s. Here at State Library of New South Wales, we have a VHS copy of that ceremony. The knowledge keeper of the ceremony has, has passed and they, and they didn't pass this knowledge on to the next generation. So there was a community that wants to perform that ceremony, but they had no, um, no way and nobody who was at that ceremony was, is alive. So they came to us, we copied the VHS because they also didn't have a VHS recorder to actually uh, um, view that um, ceremony. So we copied it onto a disc and then gave it back to the community in that way. So it's not secret or sacred ceremony, but it's a ceremony that, they, that elders wanted the young ones to be involved with. And as a result of handing back this, um, this disc, this um, information, um, the ceremony was performed. Another really important aspect of the copying and repatriation of records, once you've done your community consultation in relation to the records, uh, it's really important that if communities say this material is, um, is secret, you must not then copy this material on, you, uh, you um, recognise and their um, position on that and you don't copy it. You, you get permission from community if somebody else wants a copy of that item. Just because you've got a copy doesn't mean you can copy it further.